Alright guys, so on my workbench is this 3D printed RC Bobcat which I designed and built myself. It's super super awesome and that's why this Ultra RC video is going to be all about this thing. So let's crack right into it. Alright guys, so ever since I first drove a real Bobcat, I thought it would be pretty cool to make a remote control version just like this. But before we take this thing out for a spin, let me just explain, because last time you saw this thing it didn't look like a Bobcat at all. So you can see that this has evolved a lot since then. That was just a quick test platform to see whether the drivetrain and everything worked. And before I forget, I just want to mention that I put the STL files for this on Thingiverse. There's a link in the description. So if you want to build one of these yourself, you can. <laughs> like I was saying, this thing has evolved a lot and I've tried lots of different things like tracks. <laughs> Now though those tracks weren't ideal, I have kept the same motors, not the servo motors that I used in that digger that But enough of that, let me explain what electronics I've used to make this thing run. And basically there's the four 12 volt motors, one for each wheel. And for each of those motors we've got a speed control, so we've got four speed controllers. Those speed controllers each have their own battery, so we've got four batteries. And then to lift this big arm up, on the back we've got these two 50 kilogram servos. They're 50 kilograms, one centimeter from the arm. So over the 40 centimeters, it doesn't lift 50 kilos, but there is two of them and it has plenty of power. And then for the bucket on the front, we've got two 25 kilogram servos. So to power those four big servos, I've installed a Castle Creations 10 amp BEC. That's got its own three cell battery. So we've got five batteries in here, which makes this thing very heavy at five kilograms. So obviously there's quite a few pieces here and they did take a long time to print because I used a lot of infill because I didn't want it to sort of pull itself apart. And all the pieces are connected together with M3 nuts and bolts. is super easy to assemble and I hope some of you will be able to make this but um more on that later because I want to show you what this thing can do and before we can do that I want to show you the previous version which had been laser cut but it's not really that good and I'll show you why all right so this here is the old version you can see it's been laser cut and it's not as good as the 3d printed version because it's not orange obviously but the main problem with this is these huge actuators which just makes it look way out of proportion and just not it's just sort of flimsy and not ideal these actuators can lift a lot but it's just not how i want it to be and i wanted this to be accessible so that you guys could build it as well but the thing is most people have 3d printers not laser cutters and though laser cutting is a lot quicker, this was actually CNC routed because it's marine plywood and you can't laser cut marine plywood. So it was CNC routed. A CNC router is just an automated drill bit and because the drill bit is round, um, you can't get square corners. So it's not ideal, but it is a lot quicker to build. But hopefully one day I'll adapt these files so that you can put the servos in 
and then this should be super awesome. And because it's flat sheet, you could use aluminium and have an aluminium bobcat. Now that would be awesome. That's enough of this old ugly version. Let's take the new one out for a spin. Now. I'll just quickly show you the controls. So this throttle stick is our height of this. You can see that changed so you can let go and it stays where it is. Um, ailerons here is the bucket so we can tilt that, put it dead down and we can give it like this. And then the other stick here. Um, elevator is forwards and backwards so we've got forwards backwards and we've got left and right like this. So um, those are the controls, let's take it for a spin. So that was pretty awesome. Now I know it was very, very quick. That's because this thing, well basically it's a bit underpowered at the moment. I need to put some bigger speed controllers in. The front two wheels are underpowered. So when you turn, it doesn't really turn with a load and going backwards is very, very slow. But it drives forwards fine. As you can saw, it could get, pick up some dirt. I'm very happy with how much it can lift. It can lift, you know, this thing full of gravel, not, you know, piled out, but pl plenty enough for an RC Bobcat. But there's going to be another video on this later, so if you want to see it actually digging properly, that um, stay tuned for that. But um, now back to the bit before about sh um, other people building this. And basically, as much as I'd love you guys to what, build one of these yourself, it's just it's a lot of work. You know, the amount of printing time and the amount of electronics that you have to put into this, it, it adds up and it's pretty expensive. And um, I just feel like it costs a lot more than it's really good at digging right now. Now, I have put the files on Thingiverse, so you're welcome to download them and change them as much as you want. It's an open RC project, so you just change them as much as you need. It would be awesome if this bucket could open, because at the moment it sort of pushes stuff along like a bulldozer, and it's hard to sort of fill it up unless it's piled up in a pile that falls in, if you know what I mean. Alright guys, so if you like that video, then you're going to like all the others that are on my channel. If you subscribe and notifications, then you won't miss all the other awesome projects back here. But if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and there's a comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you think about this thing, but I'll see you around later, and thanks for watching.